Welcome. This video is on uh, solving multi-step inequalities with variables only on one side. I've got tons of stuff on both sides. For some reason, I never made one uh, for just one side. So it's relatively simple to do. It shouldn't be that much of a brain buster to figure out. Just follow the basic procedures that you would follow anyway. Draw your line. Distributive property comes next. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Bring down anything you don't use. Combine your like terms because they're on the same side. So 18 minus 2 is 16. I need to add 3 on both sides because here's me, friend, friend to friend. And I do uh, negative 131 plus 3 and end up with negative 128. Bring down 16x. Divide both sides by 16 and end up with x and this being negative 8 and I don't need to flip I didn't divide here so I just go to negative 8 I make a circle that I don't fill in and x goes to the greater than side so there's that another one I'm gonna test check that answer to see if it's right yeah, occasionally I mess it up and I hate to do that because it's annoying now for this one, it's a lot bigger. It's really still not that complicated. You just follow the basic of uh, rules that you would before. Draw your line. Do your distribution. Combine your like terms together. So negative 28 minus 9 gives you negative 37v. Negative 7 minus 15 gives you negative 22. Bring down your 15. To get rid of minus 22, I need to add 22. So you end up with 37 over here, negative 37v over here divide by negative 37. Here's the deal. I'm dividing by negative here. It means I have to flip over the inequality so it becomes less than. So v is less than negative 1. So go to negative 1. I don't need to fill it in but I do need to make it less than because v is next to the little end so it goes that away. I think I have one more of this type and that's it. I mean it's really not it's just a lot of the same stuff you've probably been doing forever. This one's a pretty good one to end on. 2r minus 6 minus 2r is greater than or equal to negative 11. Now my graph, in theory, will have a solid line. I will not have solid line. I have a filled in dot because it's equal to. But 2 minus 2 is 0, so my variable goes away. I'm looking at a special case here, people. All I need to do is see if it is true or false. If it's true, it's all real numbers. If it's false, it's no solution. And it says that negative 6 is greater than or equal to negative 11. It doesn't have to be both of those. It just has to be one of them. And it is greater. Negative 6 is greater. So I'm going to say my answer is all real numbers. Because I can plug in anything I want for the value of r, and it will always make a true statement. So my graph is everything all filled out in all its glory and uh, that's it solving multi-step inequalities with variables only on one side that whole thing not a huge deal uh, I think anybody can get a grip on it if, as long as you could do the equation part just make sure you flip that inequality in the last step if you divide